Hello everyone, this is Jack from Dr. Priest app. Uh, I'm working on a Priest plugin right now and it's come to my attention that there's a couple of error code happen quite often. It is P18, uh, sorry, P1805 and P1808. If you get in this error code, there's not much of information on the internet you can find. Uh, so I have to reach out to a lot of resourcing Toyota dealership to find out what's going on. Um, especially every time you touch this battery, you could get this error code that's not reversible and not fixable. And we finally found out what's going on is this. This is called battery smart unit. All the battery, the lithium battery for this plug-in connect to this port, this four port over here. And our theory is that if you don't plug in at the right sequence, starting from the uh, zero volt or ground or zero volt most negative volt and if you jump it from one to another it could it could well the, the, it could arch the circuit and fry the, the IC inside all right or if you look at this this giant temperature sensor tab here if you lay it back and not being careful enough you could touch the ground any ground all this metal are ground and that ground will become a short circuit from the battery to the smart unit. Therefore, it could fry as well. So, it's a couple of friends at Toyota dealership actually call this unit glass unit because they break so easy. Okay. Um, and we are, we think what happened with this part is Toyota fix it or make it more robust in the newer generation. This is from uh, 2015 and this is from 2014. The serial number is off by two digits. This one is 7243, and this one is 7245. Okay, so this unit, uh, this all units, is something called a glass unit. It's, it's breaking very easily. So let me show you the proper way to install this new unit. Um, you probably can find this for $200 on eBay if you're lucky enough. However, since it breaks so easy, it's all sold out on the internet. Uh, therefore, currently 2024 at this time, the only place you can find the smart unit or glass unit is from Toyota dealership. They sell it at $699 or $700. Okay, let me go ahead and show you the proper way to install it to prevent the arching or arcing or the, uh, the, the voltage jump. Okay, so let's install the uh, glass unit back on. Okay. Okay, so there are voltage sensor tab one, two, three, four. You want to start with the ground, the most negative one, which is here, this one. Okay, on your right hand side, this is the zero volt or the ground. Uh, actually not ground, most negative for the battery. It, if you trace it, it's connecting to this tab over here, the most negative. So uh, you do that before connecting every, anything else, okay? This is for the temperature sensor. Uh, this is for some kind of sensor as well. I think also temperature sensor. And the last is the 12 volt. You leave it to the last, okay? Connect the most negative and then work your way up and then to this. At last, the most positive. All right. After that, you can add the rest of the sensor, temperature sensor, temperature sensor, and then the 12 volt at the end at the bottom. Okay. This is the proper way. Also, don't forget connect the bolts because sometimes, especially older older design, is using the bolt as a grounding. So just play safe okay put one bolt at least one bolt so that it's grounding the case is grounding so there will be no uh, arching or anything that uh, dest can destroy the IC here we go and that's it that's how you uh, properly install the, uh, the the glass unit. Okay, so this is the old glass unit. As you can see, it has the orange plug or orange connector. It's very easy to recognize. If you have the air code again, it's P one A zero five or P one A zero eight on the plug-in. 
90 percent this is the issue okay so that's it uh hope you guys like it and i'll see you at the next one cheers